so let me give you guys, I think, some of the broad brushes of the the things that I've learned, kind of a synopsis and, you know, 48 years of life, just had a birthday back on June 9th. So a couple days ago, um, I have had the opportunity to meet a lot of people around the world and I'm very, very lucky for that. I'm very happy for that. I've been to a lot of places. I've seen a lot of cultures. Um, I've done a lot of things. Uh, I think there's a lot of things I want to do and I don't want there to be a long list you know, when I go of things that I wanted to do. Um, my big thing right now is no regrets. I'll tell you why in a second, but um, yeah, uh, your grandma uh, passed away, Nani, in January. <clears throat> and that's, I, I think that's like the fourth time that I've experienced death, um, either uh, personally or somebody that's very close to me. Mom was the first one in my immediate family that passed away and that really kind of resonated with me and it's driven a lot of stuff in the last couple months and um I, yeah i don't want to i don't want to have a lot of regrets when i pass of things that i wish i had done i just want to do them um and i'm going to do everything i can to do that um, experience those things because and i, I know that's going to be a little bit more but it's just life right it's a little bit morbid but um i could die today I could close this laptop and walk outside and get hit by a car. And, and it's just, just fact. It could happen. You know, people never expect to wake up and, and die that day. They really don't. Um, so, um, I want to do a lot of these things and, and feel like I've, you know, really kind of squeezed all I can out of life and, met as many people and enjoyed as many relationships as I can with people and experienced their books because they're all walking books. Right. Um, so I think that's one of the big lessons is just be open. Um, the first one is breathe and exist. That's it. I mean, breathing, breathing's easy, right? You got to do it. Otherwise life gets really hard and really short. Um, so breathe and exist. And sometimes, you know, focus on your breathing. When things get hard and you think, think, think things are getting tough, just breathe. Like sit down, find a quiet place if you got one. If not, then, you know, make it what you can. But close your eyes and just breathe. Give yourself big, deep breaths. It, it, it changes a lot of stuff. It can help in almost any situation. So just breathe and exist. And if you have time, you know, just enjoy your surroundings, you know, like listen to the sounds, feel the things underneath you, feel the things around you, feel your own skin. Um, I think that's something that's getting away from a lot of people nowadays where everything is right in front of them. You know, as I speak into a computer, you know, everything is right in front of them and <clears throat> they spend all this time looking outward instead of looking inwards. So you know, breathe, be open, breathe and exist, um, and try to get a sense of yourself is sometimes it can be very tough being with yourself. Absolutely. And looking inward and trying to figure out why things make you sad, why they make you mad, why they make you happy, why they make you frustrated. Um, and to put things in perspective and to figure those things out. I, I think some of the best things I've ever done in my life were to take that time and just sit still and think about things and it can get emotional it can get dark you know but being in touch with who you are and why and maybe why you don't want to be that way and how you want to change and putting things in perspective i don't think i i don't know what's what's going to be more value added to your life than that so pull a shit away and sit down and just be with yourself and figure yourself out. Cause if you can't figure all this out, then everything out here is going to be harder, I think. Um, and your perspective on things. So be open, um, you know, breathe and exist, have perspective on things, what's important, what's not important. And sometimes that's just learning that through life. You know, I can't, I can't, you know, download it on you and say what's important, what's not important. You got to figure that out, but 
have perspective. And, you know, if you think your situation is bad, maybe think about, you know, some mom or dad holding a dying baby somewhere. You know, that, that's bad. Um, that's bad. So, so think about, you know, where you are and maybe you're doing better than you thought and put that in perspective and then help others. You know, always try to reach out and help others. It's a team game. Life is a team game. Go help others. It's really hard to do it alone, you know, and if you reach out and engage people and you're open to people and you learn from people um, and you try to help them, the world will come back around. Like it, it will come back around, um, you know, just go out with good intentions and try to take care of people and do the right thing. Okay. So that's, that's some of the big lessons. I'll throw some more at you as, as we talk, I'm sure. And I may even go over these again in some ways because daddy forgets. Um, but, but try to take those to heart and I think you'll have a great life, uh, a fantastic life. Be happy. Um, help others, you know, breathe, exist, perspective. Um, you'll be good. Okay. I love you guys.